what's up guys welcome back to another video like the title says this is the end of an era we are thinking of putting the store trick and store up for sale guys um i'm not 100 sure yet i will say that i'm 90 percent sure there uh, i'm still leaning towards selling it but it's not confirmed yet i'm still thinking about it but we'll let you guys know why the reasons why i'm thinking of putting the location for sale uh it's a little unfortunate that i might have to it's not really if it's not really whether I want to or not, it's kind of like I'm, in a way, being forced to. Uh, but let me go in there and tell you guys the reason why I'm going to put it up for sale or I'm thinking of putting it up for sale. And, um, yeah, guys, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a quiet, it's been a fun, fun ride. It's been about two years that we've been here. Um, well, two years since that we got the location, about a year and a couple months since we opened. Um, and it's been fun. It's been fun having this location and all. But it might be time to get rid of it and eventually look for another location. Um, but let me tell you guys a little bit more why and what's the plan for the future. Let's go in there and I'll tell you guys right now. All right, guys. So, like I said, it is likely that this store is going to be up for sale. This location is going to be up for sale pretty soon. Um, and here is the reason why. Honestly, I'm really happy with the store. I, I think I built the store that I imagined when I first got the place. But I imagined something a little bigger, something a little, um, something where I could offer a service. So if you guys remember uh, back in the days when I, about two years ago, when I f first got this location, uh, when I was remodeling, when I was doing the, the slot wall, the hat wall, I was doing the winner's wall. I was putting up the shirts and everything. I told you guys that the goal was to open this wall up. So I wanted to open this wall and put the truck, the giveaway truck in here. Park the truck in here, which will give me a lot of space. Um, kind of like slant it right here and make it like a showroom where the truck was there. Have parts, more parts, more car parts around it. And obviously... The giveaway truck will be in front of the winner's map where I have all the winners that have won before. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that. And here's the reason why. <clears throat> so the goal was to open the wall here. And let me show you this on the outside. So I was going to open the wall here. And then from there, basically where these two windows are at, that, that's what was going to open. That was going to be open be able to put the car the truck in there and right here i was gonna do like a little shed a two-car garage type of thing um where i can put cars in where i can um leave a car here overnight or do 10 my goal was actually to do 10 on this side so build here two-car garage be able to put two cars in for 10 and be able to put one car here for uh the giveaway truck and then on this side I wanted to, I wanted to build another, like, uh, like I said, another two car garage shed right here that it kind of, uh, attached to this and do a two car garage so I can do like radio installation or stuff like that. Uh, bring us a little more content. So I went to the city, actually, when I bought the place, I went to the city, I asked if I could do tent, um, and they told me yes the location is good for 10 so i figured i'll do 10 out here i have an entrance i'll do the the giveaway trick here i can just walk down make little stairs a little, little ramp so the truck can come in go in there and recently i went and uh, unfortunately i cannot build anything on this side so i can't build i can't build what i want right here so I could build something, I just can't build what I want and what I need. So um, at this point, essentially I'm left with only a store. I'm only a, a front store. They, I can't offer any service. I can't offer anything else other than the merch here. Um, and like I said, it's probably something I should have checked. Um, I should have checked before. Maybe um, it is somewhat my fault. It kind of sucks that, I mean, I had to find out right now, two years later, when I was getting ready to do that. 
But honestly, the city is giving me a lot of troubles. Even when I bought the, the property, if you guys remember, it took me about seven months to be able to knock out the walls that were on this side, which was, I believe it was three walls. It was one like right around here. Right around here, you can see the, the little wall thing up there. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but, and then there was another one. Um, I believe there was another one here. You can see the the wall uh, mark right here. And it took me about six months just to be able to do that, six, seven months. And uh, after that, finally, um, I, I was able to knock it down, do the demo, start getting ready. It took me about a year to be able to open, maybe a little bit less. But like I said, I take some part of the responsibility because I should have gone before buying the place. I should have gone and and find out exactly what I wanted to do and uh, see if I could actually do it. So now I bought the place. Now I start looking into doing it and they tell me I can't. So like I said, guys, most likely it's going to be up for sale. Um, and it's all right. Uh, it's all right because like I said, Hopefully, uh, soon or a, a year or something, I'll look for another place, a bigger place. We had a bunch of meats here. I think I've had about 10 meats. Most of them were really good. Some of them were you know, so-so. But honestly, I did like the space as well. Uh, the VSC around, we have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 15 parking spots or a little bit less. And guys, when they did come, they will park on that side. You're good, you're good. No park in the front as well. And uh, we we had a good time. It was a few good meets. But hopefully if I do end up getting something later on, I'll get something bigger with more parking. Um, probably something slower. I, I think um, that was the issue when I first got this property. I rushed it. I seen it. I thought, honestly, and I still do think that the inside... I think this uh, the storefront is perfect for me. Like what I wanted, this is exactly what I imagined. The desk, accessories, the shirt hanging, the hat wall, winner's wall, everything. I just think like this is exactly what I was aiming for. And um, like I said, I'm happy I, I accomplished it. Like this is this this one was like I think one of my main um, dreams. But I'm really happy I accomplished it. It's time for something new. It's time to let it go. Um, I will keep you guys updated if I do decide to sell it, uh, list it on the market. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, it's a 90% uh, for sure thing. Only because, like I said, there's nothing else I can do. Like, this is it. What I have right now, this is as far as I can go in this location. And I feel like trucking around can do, can be much, much bigger. And honestly, I don't want to limit myself. Um, like I said, the plan was to have the store, have a person tending windows, have a person doing radio installation or something like that. Maybe eventually have somebody doing drops and all that stuff. Like, I don't even know. Like, I just don't want to be able to, I just don't want to limit myself where, like, right now, that's basically what it is. I can't do anything else. There's nothing else I can do. So if, if I want to grow the store, if I want to grow the location, I can't because the city won't let me. So... With that said, um, like I said, it's likely that it's going to be up for sale. I'll keep you guys updated. And if it does go up for sale or if I have a buyer, we will do a last meet. Hopefully, it's a badass meet, big ass meet. And um, yeah, like I said, hopefully uh, in the future, we'll, we'll get something else. Uh, it'll probably still be in Palm, though, just because I already I moved here. And that uh, has nothing to do with me having the store here. I was already planning to move here way before I got the store. Um, so if that does happen if I do sell the location, um, I'll keep you like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. We'll do a big meet. Hopefully a lot of people show up. Um, like a good buy for the for the location. Um, but yeah, guys, check out the shirts online. Um, thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for the support. Everybody that showed up to the store any day, any meet. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully, like I said, hopefully one day I'll get something else. I'm not gonna rush it. Um I don't think I'll get anything anytime, like soon, soon, but maybe like in about a year, next summer, hopefully. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Nothing is, is a for sure thing right now. I still got to see if I want to 
list it if I want to sell it or if anybody even wants to buy it. It's, you know, you never know. People might not want want it, but it's a badass location. It's like in front of a next to a gas station, next to a big street, a main street. Um, it's not too too bad. The, I've never had any real issues here. Uh, so, well, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe. And once again, th guys, thank you guys for all the support, all the likes, the comments, the views, everything, guys. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you, guys.